I had a request from a subscriber, Fanny, to read a Vogue magazine. Well, flip through a Vogue magazine like I usually do. We'll look at the whole thing. This is from winter 2023. And I think it probably came out in February. But Florence Pugh is on the cover. And she's 27 now. I think she was probably 26 when this picture was taken. Look at her little nose ring. And she has on a Bottega Veneta dress. A teal and black with chunky gold straps. You might have seen Don't Worry Darling. It's one of the many films that she has starred in. Black Widow. And what does it say here? Fierce, fearless, unfiltered. And then they have on the cover, Made in England, Burberry's new chapter. And we get to see the young man. I don't remember his name, but uh, there's a new uh, leader at the helm of Burberry. We get to see him. They have a little write-up. The first thing we see is this Dior ad. And it folds out. Look at that beautiful scene with those beautiful dresses. And it looks like a ballroom. But I have to say, maybe not like a ballroom in uh, Europe anywhere. It kind of looks like maybe they're in Morocco because of the tiles on the wall there. Maybe not. It's very pretty. I don't know if he's going in with the other arm bent. And here is a Tiffany ad. I don't know who the model is, but I know what these are because I looked them up. See, one is gold and one is gold with diamonds. And these are lock bracelets. See how they kind of look like a lock? The gold one is six sixty nine hundred, I think, and the diamond one is 14000 does she have one right there? No, she's got two diamond ones on. Oh, I should have looked up who the model is. Isn't she beautiful? With her beautiful, um, like a reddish blonde hair. We have a Fendi air. And this is, um, silk, wool, and I think satin. I did find that blouse. I didn't know how much. I didn't see the price. And look at that um, zipper jacket. The girl doesn't look real happy, does she? Um, the rest of them are... Um, they don't look real happy either, <laughs> but they're beautiful. And it's kind of like a, um, a, a very slight pink color. All of the outfits. And here we have Nicole Kidman advertising Omega watches. That's the her watch of choice. I just watched her in a movie. Oh my goodness, I'm not going to be able to think of what it's called. Let me come back. It was called The Killing of a Sacred Deer. It's complicated. The title's complicated and let me tell you, the movie was kind of complicated too. Let's look at Nicole Kidman's watch here. It's from the Constellation Collection. Isn't that beautiful? She's been a brand ambassador since 2005. Oh, look who we have here. It's Kim Kardashian, isn't it? I'm not a very Kardashian savvy person. But that's, I'm pretty sure that's Kim Kardashian. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. It is. <laughs> but this is Dolce & Gabbana. And um, she's been a, a brand ambassador for them for a long time. But look at this traditional scene that she's in here with plates on the walls and a great big crystal bowl of fruit. Look at that bowl. And there's, I think that's a dumbwaiter in the background. And she's showing her roots there, but she looks beautiful. And there's a carafe of probably liquor, and she has a handbag, too. And that figure. Well, there's Kate Moss. 
And this is Bottega Veneta. I hope I'm saying that right. Same make as that dress there. And they make a lot of bags. I didn't know that one I, before I looked them up. And look at the big tassel. And I think she's supposed to be in her birthday suit behind one of these, like, sandwich board signs. It's me, Dad, isn't it? With, like, a, um, a weathered stone wall. And then what's the ground? Hmm. Some, a shiny blue and then yellow surface. Maybe, like, a painted cement floor. And here she is again, advertising for Marc Jacobs. And Kate Moss is doing a 1990s throwback with um, Marc Jacobs ads and then stuff to sell. I found that out by uh, looking it up. And she has um, throwback pink hair in the ads. And... You can find this um, denim skirt on his website and also that bag, which is a quilted bag and it's in a rose and she only has a bra on. And she can still pull it off, can't she? She sure can. And here's a very classy ad. Look at that. Van Cleef and her pals. I didn't look that up. I wonder how much of those rings are. And look at that very traditional romantic scene with a little couple in the window, a little ponytail, and her little dress, and a rose back, background. Solitaires and wedding bands. All I know about that is it's expensive, but isn't the jewelry beautiful? And speaking of beautiful, we have Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I wonder if it really works. I'm, I didn't look at that up, but I'm sure that that's probably hundreds. It's at least a couple hundred dollars. And this is Amanda Gorman, Estee Lauder Global Changemaker. Her beautiful dress complements her beautiful skin, doesn't it? And here we have, I know I wrote a note on this, because Max Mara. Look at how beautiful that looks. Very curvy. Oh, here, there's somebody with curves. She's not just, I mean, she's thin. She's definitely got curves. Look at the wide light pants. And then up her little barefoot and her sandal. This is mostly linen. And the color of this trench coat, when I looked it up, is colonial. That beige. Look at that big bag. Um, there is a whole feature in this magazine about how bags are big. Some of them are huge. Look at that. That could be a, um, a piece of luggage. You could fit a whole weekend. Well, I could. I could fit a whole weekend's worth of stuff in there. And then this person has on some type of a head. Garment? A little teeny tiny little like a bandeau top maybe and the wide leg trousers again oh that's a skirt and then the same foot with no socks on i love that i mean i would never be able to wear it but um it looks very very beautiful here's the table of contents with these gigantic Paintings at the Guggenheim by Alex Katz. And what is this? If you wanted to join the Vogue Club, that you could get your exclusive access to Vogue Moments. VogueClub.com And here do we have, um, well, we have Maya Hawk. Ethan Hawke's daughter and Uma Thurman's daughter. Advertising for Prada. And she's got on a giant Prada heart gold. I, I think it's called a turn of gold. And it's on a velvet, velvet ribbon. 
She's 24 years old. Look at that face. You can see, I can see more of her mom than her dad. But I think Ethan Hawke, I don't know. He's, he's cute. He's always been one of my favorites. And then they have a photograph of her in a different um, exposure. I think you might call it. Yes, eternal gold, fine jewelry. And I, you can look it up too. This particular item, they don't have a price for. You have to ask because I think they're all custom made. So I looked it up and um, can't find a price. They have other things that you, with this eternal gold, that you can see a price for. And, and you know, it's Prada, it's thousands of dollars. But the funny thing, here comes a big truck. The funny thing that happened to me, though, after I was looking this, these things up, is I'm now getting on my ad feeds. I know this probably happens to everybody. Knockoff Prada gold in, you know, quotation marks. Um, products to buy that are a couple hundred dollars. <laughs> I thought that was funny. And you know what? I had made a note about something. Now, before we go any further, I want to flip to the back cover. I know this is not what I usually do, but, you know, I'm looking at this. This is a Louis Vuitton ad. And I knew this person was an actress, and it's um, Wayang Jung, I think you how, is how you say her name, uh, from the Squid Game. And she's from Korea. And she is on this ad with this, this bag. And the bag is, I wrote it down. It's a monogram clutch. And these are hot folded canvas straps. I thought that was cool, but I'm, and then we have her cool shoes and her beautiful dress. But I thought, oh, she's in front of, um, you know, a little playhouse. Isn't that cute? It's a little dollhouse or something. And I I looked it up further. I don't know what made me do it. But this is a whole ad campaign. And this home, is, uh, somebody made it. And this is a model of Louis Vuitton's historic home, which is located on the left bank of the Seine in Paris. Nobody lives there now. It's a gallery. Well, it's called La Gallery, and it's a permanent exhibition space, but there was certainly more to it when I looked up um, what this was. Isn't that a beautiful ad? And the, the little boots there just set off the whole outfit. I'm not um, a, a fashion-inclined person, for my own self, but I, lo I love the beauty of it and the artistry of it. You can't deny it. So this is the real thing. That's the little editor letter from the editor phone for Florence. She has, um, Florence does her, is it on YouTube? It says on social media, cooking with flow. She loves to cook. We'll see that in her photos there. This is a Swarovski ad. And the model is painted in a glittery pink. I, and I tried to look up the different pieces of jewelry, but there were so many. It's at more, far more affordable than, like, let's say the Prada stuff. <laughs> There's a Banana Republic ad, yeah, isn't that cool? They look like they're maybe somewhere, um, well, like it could be out west. It could be in another country. I don't know. All the different contributors. Oh my goodness, this is. Um, there is a little piece in here about the Chinese New Year, and here's the paintings that they made. We'll get to see them with the models in front of them. They're so beautiful. They're flowers. Um, copies and other flowers. Wait till you see them, they're beautiful. Oh, here's the Skechers ad, the Uno. 
a lot of red, red sunglasses. And they're looking at the shoes that we can see the reflection of all the different shoes on the sunglasses. Beautiful red lips. And there's the red shoe. Peppa, look at Look at this clip. Young lady. Just popping the baby bat into a cab. Probably in New York City, huh? Modern rides reimagined. You can just, um, it's, it's far more, um, portable maybe than other car seats that are permanent well you know that you keep in your car not everybody has a car especially if you lived in the city i wonder how easy that is to pop in and out emma in paris this is a person emma chamberlain who dropped out of high school and she became a youtube star and that has led her into a lot of opportunities to be um, a spokesperson for, well, I don't know if it's spoke, a, an, an ambassador. Her new um, endeavor, opportunity, however you want to put it, is at Lancome. She has had opportunities with Cartier and Louis Vuitton, and she is only 21 years old and i think she mainly does she does a podcast i think it's called anything goes and i think she reviews skincare what's this i i it says the new brass and black hat trends from new york fashion week hardware brass is everywhere flat Black is everywhere, but it folds out, and it's an ad for appliances. There's brushed brass, and there's flat black. It's time appliances had personality. I should have looked those up. I should have looked those up, just out of curiosity. Cafe. Isn't that, aren't they beautiful? I mean, I'm, well, maybe they're not as expensive as I think. There's the brush brass and there's the flat black. I don't know. This is a little piece on jewelry designers. Look at their beautiful jewelry that they created. Look at that ring. I mean, it's all beautiful. Prunus, Castro Smith, and Darius. Beautiful. This is an interesting article. This is a piece of art, this picture here. What is it? This is... Rising from the Ashes, inspired by the children, by Eddie L-U-I-V. It's acrylic on linen. But the article is about how they are making food and it's mostly a focus on protein based food out of fungus in laboratories obviously with the thought that well with the knowledge that even with plant based protein a lot of energy is consumed and with animal protein um you know obviously raising an animal and then eating them you know, that takes time and it takes power. And they these people are working in combination with NASA, these scientists. And it's a microbial fungus that they are, it's Nature's Find is the company, F-Y-N-D. And there's another one called Solar Foods. So they can create these microbes I think out of nothing, or they're going to start from something and create a, a protein, an edible protein. This is continued. And the person talks about the dishes that they were um, able to sample made with this protein, and it, it seemed all delicious. Rafael Nadal has made a fragrance with his beautiful. What's it called? Well, it 
They nod to the richness of the Mediterranean coast. I had a hard time finding the name of it before. In all intimacy. Look at how cute he is. They've only been married for, um, I think, three years, and they have a little baby. Here's Sierra in an ad for Goldman Sachs. In a fur coat with very pretty necklaces, and one of them is a key pendant. How the platinum selling global superstar has raised over $10 million for pediatric cancer research. How beautiful she is. Well, that's certainly a... Um, a wonderful endeavor. These ads always crack me up. Private wealth management. I guess you would need some amount of wealth to manage in the first place. I got hurt, I'm noticing, when my dog drug me through bramble bushes today before I sat down to do this. So sorry. Look at this beautiful face in her shoes. This is a skateboarder. Beatrice Domond. She lives in, where are we here? East Village, New York City's East Village. And she's wearing all different shoes in her neighborhood. Um, they talk a lot about vans. She is a black female skateboarder which is not a common thing. And she's trying to um, make her mark and blaze a trail for others, too. Here's an article on Carolyn Polachek, an artist, a uh, recording artist, who has made a new album. I should have written down what it, it's called. I don't really know her. After several inward-looking albums and a period of personal transition, Caroline here, uh, her new music has a more extroverted sound. It's called Desire I Want to Turn Into You. Interesting. She's lovely, isn't she? Look at her pretty dress. And it's already out if you want to listen to it. And here's a few books. The Shards, Sam, and the Survivalists, which sounded interesting. Um, I'll just read this really quick. Community gardeners meet doomsday preppers stockpiling weapons above a trendy coffee shop. And it says it's darkly funny, so I would love it. Um, it's set in Brooklyn. Interesting. I'm sure they're all interesting if you read or maybe listen to books. Uh, I need to ease into my new work schedule. I picked up some work and I wish I had more time to read. I will. I just have to adjust. This is about McQueen at Alexades. And she is a skincare guru. Maybe I would say to the stars, but she bought a whole island. Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm skipping ahead. The thing I wanted to say about an island, I can't believe I did that. Um, she built a home on Skyros. I'm going to flip back to Maya Hawk. In my obsession with Ethan Hawk and my rabbit hole that I went into a little bit with that Prada ad, I found out that Ethan Hawk owns a whole island. He does, of Nova Scotia. Anyway, let's get back to this. That's how you spell this lady's name if you want to look her up and look at her products. And it has um, a natural base. And she is hoping to cultivate more plants there on her estate to make skincare from. She's beautiful. If you want to look her up, I it's too expensive for me to buy, and I had never heard of her. But the, a lot of celebrities love her. And what do we have here? The Vogue list. A point of view is meant to be shared. Here's a place to sound off. Look at that dress and her shoes. And what is she on top of? It looks like an ottoman, but it's made of a stone, I think. 
this is Vogue, so we're not going to see any cat food ads like we do in some of the other magazines. But they do have a little fancy feast uh, medley's little paragraph here with no pictures of cats or anything, but I thought that was cute. This is Brindoline Dada. She's opened a boutique in Milan. After a lifetime of training in fashion's renowned ateliers, Coco Brandolini Dada is launching a label all her own. And here is a bunch of ads. And some of them are so little. So a lot of them are from Ulta. This is from Mad Hippie. It's a... What is it? A microdermabrasion facial. They sell it at Whole Foods. And then this thing that this little, uh, little tiny person is putting on her abdomen is something my, my dad would have bought this. It's an LED um, liposuction belt. And that's just the type of thing my dad would have buy. I had to laugh when I saw it. And I also recently started doing sit-ups. And I thought, oh, do I need to bother? I, it's just my opinion. Stuff like that doesn't usually work. But this is cool. Um, the ultimate bath bomb has arrived. It's the look of a stone. <laughs> it's got a geode in it. My word. And um, South Beach... Collagen Filler Serum. Joyfully grown just for you. This is fruit. That's good for your skin. Uh, and you should start from within. I'm sure if you ate uh, fruit, it is good for your skin. I can attest to it. Bubbies, pickles, and they're cute. The first carbon neutral milk in the U.S. Neutral organic milk. A portable blender, brain juice, and you know what? My dad would have wanted to buy this, too, to be honest with you. Look at that lady in that sauna. <laughs> the ultimate at-home sauna, Thera 360+. Plus. I, I know, I'm not doing it. And th this is cute. This is a patent-pending Lux scrunchie with an attached satin-covered art. Sleepy tie. Maybe check that out. That looks like something that somebody um, came up with all on their own. And it's probably a small business if you think that that's something that you would um, use. So here we are with Florence Bew. Free radical. I've been on a movie watching Spree lately, but I don't think I've seen anything with Florence. Maybe I'll watch Don't Worry Darling. What is she wearing here? I, I can't get the whole thing in the shot. Um, Valentino shirt and a Valentino skirt. The rings are Tiffany. Let's try that. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. And her septum ring, which is worn throughout these photographs, is from Tiffany as well. On her way, on her way to becoming the best actor in her generation, Florence hasn't lost her reputation for fun-loving bon ami and steely self-possession. Chloe, the person that wrote this, meets Hollywood's most grounded superstar. Now, these are some bold claims here, but I have to watch a movie with her. I think I'll watch Little Women, the newer Little Women, because I know I'll love it. Here she is in a Dior bra and a Dior skirt, Alexander McQueen's shoes. Yeah, that portion of the photo is in motion, but her face isn't. Isn't that cool? Whoever took the picture, does it say who? Probably does in the beginning. Look at that dress. All held together with a bow there. Um. 
Low. L O E W E. Dress. Yellow and black. The best sign of a good person is the ability to laugh at herself, she says. And he was a classically trained ballet dancer. And they spent some time in Spain when she was little. I've never been scared of what's underneath the fabric. I think my point is, how can my nipples offend you so much? I would say that she's probably appeared with in a birthday suit in some of these movies. And here she is. Look at this picture. She's in a, looks like a, um, maybe not a market. No, yeah, maybe a market. Yeah, vegetables. This guy's pig you're looking at her like I don't know. I don't know about this. What's the dress by? I'm not going to be able to pronounce it, but look at the sleeves. It's really something, isn't it? Um, Proenza Schuler? The earrings are by that person, too. Look at the color. It's so pretty. So, she was with Zach Braff for um, 2019. 2022. I don't know if she's got a new person or maybe he has a new person. He's he's a little bit older than her. But you know, we don't judge. Her next movie is A Good Person and it's about addiction and personal redemption and it's written and directed by Zach Braff. It's out now, maybe? It says out in March. I'm going to watch that actually as my first film with Florence here because I it sounds like I'd really like it. We loved Garden State by Zach Breath. The dress, look at that dress, how pretty. And of course she's got vegetables there. She, they're tied in her, her cooking link with these photos. A-L-A-I-A. -A -A. She's just lovely. And then she's got a great big fish in that one, but don't worry, she's wearing big leather gloves. What's this dress by? Um, Jill Sander, she is going to be in, Florence is going to be in the next Dune, too. And I think they say it's directed. No, she's in, gonna be in the next Dune in the next Christopher Nolan film, which is called Oppenheimer. Ugh, look at that thing. Look at her pretty belt. That fish, I don't want to hold it. No, I don't want to hold it. You have a daydream when you start out. What is it that means you've made it? Hmm. Well, that's an interesting question, isn't it? For me, it was, you live close to your friends and you have a local pub. She does seem very likable, doesn't she? And this... Okay, you you have to be um, a certain person to pull this off, but look at how pretty it is. Very little makeup on all of these pictures, too. Well, it's a corset and a skirt, and it's... Erdem? E-R-D-E-M. She's got a little... It's like a little pepper in her hand. This story <clears throat> over the weekend led me down a rabbit hole because look at these paintings. Yes, the model is beautiful. Who's the model? It says here. Um, okay, let's. I don't want to get her name wrong, but I will. Ajok Dang. Look at that, her beautiful skin. She's beautiful, and this is a beautiful uh, article. The paintings, though, I um, I had to look them up, and that led in, me into reading about the artist. Just look at them. These are at the Guggenheim, and they're Alex. Uh, what's the person's name? I've been so obsessed with this guy. Why can't I think of him? Alex Katz. 
he is in um he has a home in Maine that he paints out of but these um fo these paintings are huge and the bags that are featured in this article are big I think the mini bag is gone it says go big the micro mini handbag stays might be numbered this winter, color-saturated market totes and roomy carryalls carry the day. Uh, this red bag is Medea, and the pink bag is Prada. And I think a lot of these photos, she has two bags. This is Ada and Vincent, the photo, the um, painting, and this is Rosebud. And they're both from 1967. Look at this um, metallic bag with the reflections and look at the reflection on her beautiful uh, skin, which I think her skin's like the color of dark chocolate, isn't it? And it's got a golden hue to it. And she's got on a golden hoodie there. It's just so beautiful. So some of these are taken in the museum and some of them are like New York shots. Um, this bag is Alexander McQueen and the, um, Jacket is Ralph Lauren, and the hoodie is low again. L O E W E. What's this painting? Um, the bag is Mummy, and this is called Ada. Ada, the painting. And here's the mug. Going through the museum, and here she is in a streetscape. Two bags again. Ooh, look at that. Um, Louis Vuitton. is the little bag and the big bag is from the row at the row.com and i loved this photograph with the two models in the background and then this painting that painting is called edwin and rudy and that's from 1968 The jacket is Givenchy. The bag is Tom Ford Sterling King earrings. This reminds me of my life getting pulled by a dog. But she's handling it well. And she's got heels on. I would never try that. I get pit pulled on a daily basis. By two two separate dogs, two separate dog walks, a pit bull and a catahoula, a Louisiana catahoula dog. I wish I had a tiny dog like that, but I know they can still pull. Now, the bag here, look at that electric blue. It's that Proenza Schuler again. And one of them, there's two there, is Medea. Yves Saint Laurent coat. I wonder where she is. Where is that? Is that at the museum? I don't know. I've never been there. Here she is in um, Central Park. Look at her pretty braid. I just noticed that. And uh, the bags are Bottega Veneta. Everything's by them, I think. Beautiful blue sky. And here we have a White House wedding. Naomi Biden got married on the South Lawn. And here she is with her mom, Dr. Jill Biden. Doesn't she kind of look like the, the daughter? A combination of Chloe Savigny and um, the Olsen, well, all of the Olsen sisters, the Olsen twins, and then the other sister. Maybe that's just me. Is the other sister Elizabeth? So she got married. Um, and look at her beautiful dress. Uh, that's a Ralph Lauren wedding gown. Oh my gosh. Tiffany earrings. shot you know they could be from um any that could have been an old picture too i think that's the point it's got a golden light we're so close to our family so we already always knew we'd get married in someone's backyard she says and this was kind of near and dear to my heart even though i really know nothing about these people 
um, a few brides have brides of um, who are, were daughters of presidents have been married at, in in the White House or outside. Um, there's only a handful, though. Uh, some of them held their reception here. You know, um, it was a combination. I know that one of the Bush daughters had the reception at the White House, but the um, ceremony was in Texas. But her um, man that she married, Peter um, something, <laughs> I don't know his name, uh, Peter Neal, they're both lawyers. He bought her off eBay, for his bride-to-be, he bought her a bunch of vintage Time magazines so she could study these former weddings of these people from long ago. I thought that was sweet. And we all know I love old magazines. Well, if you've watched me for any amount of time. Look at this guy. Isn't he cute? Um, this is uh, Daniel Lee. And he uh, grew up in London, I think. He grew up in England somewhere. Um, and he is the new, one of the new leaders of Burberry. And he has a deep connection to them. Um, he, he's from Yorkshire. He, I'm from Bradford, Yorkshire, very close to Castleford, where the trenco trench coats are manufactured. And to Keeley, where the gabardine is made. So a lot of the, the elements, and even the coats, in some respect, are still made in England. Some of his mother's family worked in factories that were supplying for Burberry. And his mother actually has a trench coat that her aunt had gotten as a retirement gift. So he definitely has a local connection. He's 37. Oh, he does love a day off at 20. He's, um, what is his, um... What's his um, position? I don't know. Um, he's worked in fashion. He worked at Bottega um, Veneta. And he is, um, his partner oh, is in the Royal Ballet. His name's Roberto. Oh, I would like to see, like, they're renovating a London home. I want I want to know all the details of that. Maybe we'll see it in another Vogue. Who do we have here? I meant to look up more of this, but I, I already have some knowledge of this play that these two are in. Um, this is Oscar Isaac and Rachel Brosnahan of the um, Ms. 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 Basil. Um, they are in a play. In Brooklyn, it was the second play by Lorraine Hansberry, who wrote A Raisin in the Sun, and she, that was set in Chicago, this this play that these two are in is set in New York, and it's called The Sign in Sidney Brustein's Window. It's at the New York Longacre Theater, and... Here these two are, and they are in um, design of clothing. He's in Prada, and she is in Louis Vuitton. And it was, I think, the last play that um, Loretta Hansberry wrote because she died. It's so sad. She was only 37 when she died. She had pancreatic cancer. I don't know the year. Um... And I love plays, and I love theater. And this makes me so jealous to pe for people that could go to this. I would love to see this. It feels alive, and it feels messy, says the director, Ann Kaufman. Life's just not neat anymore. It never is in my case, and I'm always suspicious when it seems too neat for other people. Here they are. These pictures are wonderful, aren't they? These photographs. And he is... Oh... And a suit is the 
I have to look this up really quick. I should have. Is the make called Early Halloween? Designer, I'm gonna look up. I mean, I would have never heard. Oh my gosh, it, Early Halloween is a New York-based vintage clothing rental and styling house. And everybody go on their website and look it up. This is the kind of thing I have to work after I get done with this, but I will, I'm going to be so distracted by that. I didn't read that ahead of time when I leafed through this. And what does our Miss um, Brosnahan have on? Um, the coat, which is all we can see, is by Coach. Earlyhalloween.com. There's my rabbit hole for the day, except it might be this. I loved this. So, the Lunar New Year was January 22nd. So, we're a little late on the scene here, but um, it's the year of the rabbit. And we have some fashion to look at. Valentino top. Valentino. I think all this is Valentino, if I'm wrong. Forgive me. They kind of look like Christmas colors. Isn't that beautiful? And they are just in a, um, it looks like a park. Maybe somebody's pretty backyard. But the backdrop for a lot of it, ooh, look at her pink nails. What's this? Um, Louis Vuitton dress. Everything's Louis Vuitton, I think. The paintings, though. Are, I'm going to say this wrong, but Kai Guo Quang. These are gunpowder paintings, and they're made to they're made to look like flowers. So they're celebrating 2023 with exciting silhouettes and lots of eye-catching jewelry. And a lot of the models have us, um, a different color on the hairline. Blue and then red. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Look at the painting and then we have our beautiful model here. She has jeans on. And the top, what have we got here? The painting is called Pink Poppy Number no. 2, and this is a bodysuit, Simone Roca, and then Calvin Klein jeans. Very stylish. And here is somebody in um, nature, but there are some streamers hanging down maybe to celebrate the Lunar New Year. This is a Versace dress. And here we have a rabbit because of the year of the rabbit. He looks cute. Michael Kors dress. And more red here. And she's in front of a painting. Um, the painting, so this isn't a flower. It's called Welcoming Pipe. Project for the Winter Olympics opening ceremony. Ferragamo dress. And shoes. More red. Oh, more red. Ooh, look at that. And then she's got her red. Um, what do you want to say? Roots? I don't know. These are photographed on this artist's property. I'm reading now is in New Jersey. Oh my gosh, he's got a 14,000 square foot art studio. Oh wow. So, Prada. This is all Prada. Maybe not the shoes. No, the shoes are Prada. It's nice. We have a little bird outside the window instead of the um, whatever utility truck was out there. Alexander McQueen. Uh, dress, boots, and earrings. And 
I'm going to address this as do you I'm going to say it wrong to, um, <laughs> to know which one's which. I didn't really look at this before. I just loved it. Oh, I love these paintings. Ooh, look at that. Balenciaga dress. And this is called Poppy Hallucination, the painting Year of the Rabbit. Does it look like a rabbit's eye to you? I don't all oh, look at that. I just love these paintings. I'm sure they cost a zillion dollars. I don't know. And the model standing way back there. And a Peter Doe gown. And there is that. It's just that big. He needs a 14,000 square foot studio. This, I thought I wrote something down because I did kind of, uh, this was very interesting. If I wrote it down, I lost it. Um, this is uh, Lan Samantha Chang, and she's talking about, she's an author, I, and I don't know if she's an actress too. I know she's an author. Um, And she wrote a little piece here about how her uh, Chinese family would ring in the Lunar New Year and the different customs, which I know absolutely nothing about. Um, and I found it very interesting. Um, it, it seemed very heartfelt. And um, her parents... Well, the other connection that I have to this is that she grew up in uh, Appleton, Wisconsin, oh, Mina, Wisconsin, which is, uh, my brother has lived there, um, and my brother lives near there now. I think my brother works there near now, and so that was kind of a connection, a personal connection, and I, I'm just going to say it, I, I wondered what brought her there, what brought her family there, um, and I'm going to try to find out more about her. Her parents seemed like um, educated, professional people. I think they were engineers, and obviously probably work led them there. I don't know that there's a large Chinese community of people there, um, and I've been to Wisconsin a lot. I, I wondered what it was like what her experience was like there. But um, the other thing, so she talks about uh, their traditions and they cleaned for the Lunar New Year and where's this little, um, they would set up firecrackers to ward off evil spirits. Um, a lot of it had to do uh, with lucky numbers. Um, in which numbers were lucky, in which numbers were unlucky. They would exchange small sums of money to encourage money flowing in the new year. Um, it was very interesting. And then, of course, she has a Chanel dress on. I want to learn more about the Chinese Lunar New Year and what um, the traditions were. They made a certain soup. Um, they cut off a little piece of hair. And it, it was about getting, putting the New Year away, locking it away, washing it away, and welcoming in a new beginning. I meant to look up this guy too. This is a married couple, first of all. Let's just get that out of the way. They're in some compromising positions in these um, photographs, and this is in California. You know, it's a definitely a 70s vibe. Nicola Peltz Beckham. In Brooklyn Beckham. He's in Diesel. And there's a lot of wildlife pants in these photos.
Isn't she beautiful? I don't know much about this couple. I meant to read more about them. I'm sorry. Dolce & Gabbana top. I guess we can tell that. And he got hold of that belt. And, and he's kind of, they, yeah, they're very racy. Oh, look at her beautiful lips. They're not a racy photo. They are in love, you can tell. I can't wait till they have a baby. I want to see the baby. Um, I'll never be able to say this, the name of this dress. Oliver Theskins. Louis Vuitton boot. I think this is the same it is the same bracelet that he has on chrome hearts is that is by them beautiful young couple it definitely has the back part definitely has like um east of eden vibes to it like that that part of california farm country a low jacket. Beautiful skin. Valentino top. And Vakira belt. And blues. Look at that. She's hanging off of a tire swing. And look at that picture. Miu Miu coat she has on. Wow. And he wears a, a low hoodie. L-O-E-W-E. -E. And they're on a little vintage motorbike. Good enough to eat. Look at these adorable earrings. This is by Brent Neal. And you get a carrot. And you get a radish. And I looked him up. He's a jewelry artist, Brent Neal, with an E at the end. These are, I, you know, it was about $10,000, I think, for those earrings. But he's got beautiful jewelry. I mean, they're works of art. Guinea Project Plate. La Double J Apron. Um, I looked at this stuff before. I know that this is by far claws. Aren't they pretty? And they're in LA. What was that cake plate though? It was a designer. It's Gucci. We watched House of Gucci about a month ago in our movie watching um, extravaganza that my husband and I have been doing. This is from Luna Marcus, that pot holder. This is Tory Burch. Isn't that pretty? It's a water glass. $128 for a set of two. That here is a... Um, a lemon squeezer. And then they have a bag of Lay's chips. Is it a bag of Lay's chips? Or is it? I gotta look at it. No. It's a Balenciaga bag. It says Balenciaga right there. I was kind of confused by that, to be honest with you. I do, you know, a lot of better homes and gardens and stuff that would have chips, but that's a Balenciaga bag. And what's those bags up there? Warm shop. And Lo has a fragrance. Look at the pretty um, box it comes in. The sweet almanac. And what's that? Earrings. Oh, aren't they pretty? Look that up, though. That, that Brent Neal. Here's the, continue, the um, rest of the um, continuations of the articles. White House Wedding, England Need Me, Where to Buy Things. Look at this Hermes bag. 
Kelly Galan, and it is in the their um, signature orange. And those are ostrich feathers. I don't really know what it's sitting on. What do you think that is? I don't know. This comes in um, black and brown too. But this certainly would be a lot of pizzazz to get the orange. And this bag, if you look it up online, I didn't see how much it was. I, I don't think I got that far. But it's huge. The ones I could see that, you know, like celebrities were um, carrying. This makes it look, well, I mean, it's hard to know the scale, but it's large. And the last ad is an Olay ad. They paid a lot of money for that. And this ad is all over the place. And here we have our, um, this um, Louis Vuitton ad that I'm obsessed with. And they have a lot of different models in um, standing in front of this um, replica home of uh, Louis Vuitton. Thank you for spending some time with me today. I've got to go back to reality and work now. Oh, well, I'm not going to try to whine too much about it, but um, thank you for watching. Bye.